It was more than three decades ago that Hollywood's hottest couple, Richard Gere and Cindy Crawford, decided to take their blossoming romance to the next level. Yes, the pretty woman actor eventually gave in after the ultimatum and decided to marry his girlfriend. Crawford and Gere spontaneously wed in Las Vegas, exchanging aluminum foil rings at the altar. However, it wasn't as romantic as one would imagine. I guess for me, the big realization of being married is that it's, it's not that much different. Like, I, I still have to make myself happy. And I know everyone says that, but when you experience it for yourself, it's totally, you know, it's a different thing. Welcome to Rumor Juice. In today's episode, we'll look inside Cindy Crawford and Richard Gere's failed marriage, from the whirlwind wedding to their ultimate separation. It all started as a romantic fairy tale. The couple met at the backyard barbecue of beloved fashion and portrait photographer Herb Ritz. Awestruck by the celebrity crowd, Crawford was 22 at the time, with her legendary career only looming on the horizon. At 22, you think you know everything and you think you're already formed. But it was 39-year-old Gear who attracted her attention. When the chemistry worked, they were in big trouble. We talked, then we had a date, then we had another date, Crawford said about their attraction. It didn't take long for the two to become Hollywood's hottest couple, appearing together on red carpets, tabloid covers, and cropping up at the hottest restaurants in Los Angeles and Manhattan. At first, Gear was uncertain about marrying Crawford. He thought it was too suburban, and he had huge concerns about making the wrong decision. You're constantly coming upon problem areas. There's a lot of pain, there's a lot of suffering involved, things to break through. But Crawford finally broke Gear's resolution. She simply gave him the ultimatum. She reportedly informed the famous actor of her desire to move on if they weren't moving to the next level. It definitely wasn't time to get cold feet for Gear. He confessed, I was a holdout at age 42, and this woman who I was crazy about and loved very much said, I can't wait. I gotta move on if it ain't happening. Gear was on a single night break from filming Mr. Jones when he and Crawford, plus a few close friends, boarded a private jet to Las Vegas. Get the party started. The two chose to exchange vows at an iconic Sin City Chapel, the Church of the West. It's the same place where Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton tied the knot. But perhaps the most unusual moment of the small ceremony was when the couple exchanged their rings. Rather than opting for an extravagant jewelry brand, the duo fashioned rings out of aluminum foil and wore them instead of something more extravagant. I wore John Galliano off the rack, Crawford explained. I couldn't shop for wedding dresses because we wanted to keep the wedding a secret, so I told a stylist friend we were going to a white party on the beach. She reflected on the preparation for the ceremony. Uh, we were very quiet about it. Now it was a truly iconic model wedding. While the lovebirds were simply happy to tie the knot, it seems that the whirlwind and low-key nature of their ceremony wasn't that perfect. Crawford didn't wear a white, and Gear walked down the aisle in a navy suit from Armani. It wasn't the wedding I dreamed of, it was so last minute, she once described the ceremony. However, there was one detail that the legendary model was quite pleased about. Ritz served as not only her bridesmaid, but also as the official wedding photographer. As the couple was trying to make their love life work, another milestone was on Cindy's mind. In 1993, the model shared that she was very excited to expand a family. I feel that's the thing in my life I'm going to be best at, being a mother, she said, even though Gear was a little resistant to the idea. Sadly, their happily ever after was not meant to last, and just four years after their whirlwind wedding in Vegas, the couple announced that they parted ways. There were a lot of factors at play in Crawford and Gear's 1995 divorce. Being as famous as they both were at the time, scandalous rumors about their relationship were never far behind. Though both parties denied the claims, tabloids were relentless in their assertions that Gear and Crawford were gay and that their marriage was a publicity stunt. She even joked that she found the rumors amusing. Years later, she revealed the major reason their marriage couldn't stand a chance. Believe it or not, the couple just didn't spend enough time together. Crawford opened up, We're equally responsible for that. We thought it would be okay if we just flew in from Paris to LA to get together for a night to see each other. It wasn't. There was also that glaring 17-year age gap between them. I was still 22, and at 22, as a young woman, I was kind of still figuring out who I was and what I wanted to be, and he was already 37, Crawford told Oprah in an interview. You know, it's hard to change in a relationship because what one person might have signed up for, and then all of a sudden you're not 
that anymore. She believed that being in her 20s means constant changes. It's exactly the time when you come into your own and you feel your own power and connect to your inner strength. That's why it's so hard to save relationships during that complicated life period. She confessed, I think I was more willing at 22 to be like, okay, I'll follow. But then you start going, well, I don't want to just follow. I want to lead sometimes and I want to walk side by side sometimes. Looking back, Crawford thinks she and Gear should have worked on establishing a friendship. I think part of the problem in our relationship was that we were a lot of other things, but I don't know if we were ever friends, like peers, because I was young and he was Richard Gear, she explained. As she started to mature and become a new version of herself over the years, it was hard to change the nature of their relationship. They couldn't find the common language to nurture their affection anymore. There wasn't a good power balance there, and that was my fault because I gave all my power away to him," Crawford said. Reflecting on her marriage, Crawford admitted that she was quite young when their marriage took place, but she doubted if she ever had a bond with the famous actor. She noted that Gear was like a stranger, and they barely had anything in common. I was young, said Crawford, adding that she was 26 when they got married. Gear was 42 at the time. I didn't think I was young though, but I was young. I was with Richard for like six years, but I was only married for two years. When asked if Crawford was still on good terms with the Pretty Woman star, she replied that they're friendly, but he's more of a stranger to her now. It's more like he's gone back to being just Richard Gere, nothing more than a distant actor. Besides, they don't really see each other that much these days. Decades after the marriage ended, both stars have pursued different interests and faced different fates. But Crawford was lucky enough to have a wedding she was dreaming of for so long. Crawford and her current husband, Randy Gerber, were both in other relationships when they met at her agent's wedding. Cindy was invited with her boyfriend, but her boyfriend was out of town. So our mutual friend who was getting married said, why don't you guys meet and, and go together? She was actually happy both she and Gerber were involved with others when they met. They were able to be themselves without playing any games. She explained, Randy also had a girlfriend at the time, so he wasn't looking to meet anyone either. And that's the best time to meet someone because that's when you're truly yourselves. Crawford added that the two didn't kick things off romantically until they were both single. Whatever ups and downs Cindy Crawford and Randy Gerber experienced over the years, the most important thing is that they encountered and conquered them together. The couple has been married for more than 20 years, which is an impressive feat to reach, especially when both parties still appear deeply in love. In May of 2021, Crawford wrote a sweet note on Instagram to mark the pair's anniversary, saying, This night 23 years ago was magical, and you're still the one. Gear was married twice since his failed marriage with Crawford, while the actress enjoyed a fairy tale union with her second husband. The famous actor is actually now married to a Spanish activist, and the couple welcomed two children in recent years. So for the first time in a while, Richard Gere can say that he's with a person he truly loves. Crawford once said that the exact thing that was missing from her marriage to Gere, friendship, kept her and Gerber together for so long. I think why Randy and I really work is that we were friends first, she shared. I never pretended to like baseball or meditation or whatever the version is. With Gerber, Crawford felt like she wasn't trying to impress someone. The romance between Gear and Crawford happened almost three decades ago, but continues to be remembered as one of Hollywood's most controversial romances. Their relationship ended almost as fast as it started, but it seems that the presumable fairy tale romance brought the ultimate happiness to Crawford. From working with the biggest names in fashion to posing for countless now iconic images, she is an enduring force within the fashion industry. The world-famous model gave up full-time modeling in 2000, though she still appears in the occasional editorial or runway show. Crawford shifted her focus, launching a furniture collection, authoring an autobiography, and doubling down on her charity work. We couldn't be happier that she finally found her path, but we've been wondering, what do you think about the marriage between Crawford and Gear? Let us know and don't forget to subscribe.